the day the Earth moved. It's a day when something deadly comes to Rivendell. Something leaving a trembling path of destruction. <laughs> Wherever it burrows, think you're brave. You won't be able to sit still on the day the Earth moved. going on time to get up and get dressed huh come on my boy family tradition calls oh no is it the first day of spring already yep and you know what that means yeah you want me to humiliate myself by wearing a skirt in public it's not a skirt it's a kilt oh dad can't you do the deed look son you know that every year on the first day of spring we must ring the bell in old town hall it's a family tradition. I've done it. My father's done it. My father's father's done it. My father's 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 done it. My... I get the point, Dad. I just don't get the tradition. It's simple, Archie. It's... It's... A, a, a tradition! Have you no respect for honoring family traditions that help keep history alive? Yeah, sure, I guess. I just wish ours didn't include wearing a skirt. It's not a skirt, it's a kilt. A skirt by any other name. Just put it on. There she is, son. We Andrews have been ringing that bell for over 100 years. Can we hurry up and ring the bell? Archie, there's more to this tradition than just ringing the bell. You must also recite this poem while dancing a jig, like this. Wow. Tintinabulation at three and 21. We'll cease the sensation and the deed will be done. Now that's some bad poetry. It doesn't even make any sense. That doesn't matter. The point is to honor the family tradition. Now, Whoa. come on, Archie, like this. Three and twenty-one will cease the sensation. Is that Archie and his dad dancing together? Yeah, and they're both wearing skirts. And doing some sort of bizarre Scottish rap song. Okay, let's just pretend we've seen this before. Remember, we have work huh? to do. Oh, uh, hi. I know this must look sort of strange to you guys. Uh, no, 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 not at all. You know, no. But I can explain all of this. Forget it, Arch. Whatever you and your dad do on your own time is your business. Besides, we're here on a mission to save Old Town. To save Old Town? Look! What's going on? They're condemning all of Old Town so they can tear it down and build a new mall. 
You didn't tell me they were going to build a new mall. That changes everything. I mean, really, who cares about some dumb old buildings? Sure, they look cute and historical, but... But they're part of Riverdale's history, and history needs to be preserved. That's why we started this signature campaign to save Old Town. When I think of Old Town, I think of lemon drops. Lemon, lemon drops? drops? Don't you guys remember the Old Town candy store? Mmm, they sold the best lemon drops around. That's right. I even remember being a kid at the Old Town Spring Festival. Where an Andrews would always ring the town bell. Ah, huh? At least they're preserving the bell at the Riverdale Museum. So much for our family tradition. Well, son, I'm heading home to mourn the forgotten dreams of our ancestors. <gasps> So, Archie, when did you and your dad start wearing skirts? It's not a skirt, it's a kilt. <laughs> what was that? I'd say it was an earthquake. I don't know huh? about that. I'd say this is quickly turning into a weird mystery. Oh, police! Not another one of your weird mystery thingies. Don't you guys remember what we learned last year in geology class? Stay far, far away from the rock tumbler. No. Remember, there aren't any fault lines under Riverdale. That means an earthquake is highly improbable, which means something weird is happening beneath our feet. So, are you going to sign my petition to save Old Town? I can't right now, Betty. I've got a mystery to solve. Hmm. Hello, Jughead. Archie? Dilton, I need your help. Uh, uh, I don't know if I could help you, Archie. You didn't feel the earthquake? You're not up for solving another weird mystery? Which weird mystery are you talking about? The earthquake or the skirt? It's not a skirt, it's a kilt. Right. <laughs> There, these seismometers should be able to determine if there are any undiscovered fault lines running under Riverdale. Ha, 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 I've just detected another earthquake. Its readings are off the chart. <sighs> Chill, Dilton. That was only one of Jughead's sneezes. <sighs> If anybody needs to reach me, Dad, they can call me at the number I just gave you. Later. Did you know that at some point in history, Riverdale's soil was as rich as a compost heap? No. But what does that have to do with the earthquakes? Maybe nothing. Maybe everything. So, this is what all the fuss is about. Who'd want this hunk of junk anyway? Come on, V. Don't you feel anything? It's an important part of our heritage. The only thing I feel is dirty. Doesn't anybody dust in here? Aren't you going to help me look? There's got to be something here that can help us save Old Town. Save Old Town? Like I care. I'm only here because you needed a ride. Just imagine, we are surrounded by history. Doesn't it just give you goosebumps? Betty, when will you learn that history is so out of date? I mean, it's like way yesterday. But these archives contain the collected hopes and dreams of past Riverdalians. Yeah, whatever. I say we skip all this moldy stuff and hit them all so we can do something important, like shop. Wait, look at this. What is it? An ancient and never used dust mop? No, these old newspaper clippings from the turn of the century. Hmm. Mysterious quakes rock Riverdale. So? So, this could mean that Archie is on to something. We've got to show him these clippings. <gasps> Yuck! Achoo! Gazunheit, it must be something I ate. <laughs> What's happening, Dilt? Either Old Town is riddled with a vast web of fault lines, or there's something alive in the ground. Something moving, something big. Ow. Hey, it stopped. It seems to have only been a temporary shifting of 
No, not the earthquake. The seismometer. It stopped beeping. <gasps> it's gone! I think that rules out earthquakes. Yes, it seems clear that we are dealing with some form of subterranean. <laughs> It's got my leg! Hold on, Dilton! I've got you! Let's get out of here! Get off the ground! Can I make a suggestion? What? Let's go anywhere but here! Hold on! That would be a good time to go! It's right behind us! What a shame. The Andrews have been ringing the Riverdale bell for generations, and now it's all over. And the pity is, we all looked so good in kilts. Hello? Oh, hi, Betty. No, I'm sorry, but Archie is not here. He said he's hanging out with Jughead and Dilton. What was that? There is no way of knowing for sure without proper data. Now, if we could just get a sample of its tissue to analyze... Count me out on any tissue collecting mission. One thing for sure, it is definitely attracted to noise vibrations. <laughs> oh man, my car is ruined! Forget about it, Arch. That thing's looking for dessert. Run! Wait a minute. We can't outrun this thing. You want us to just stand here? Exactly. If my theory is correct, all we have to do is remain totally still, and it shouldn't be able to find us. I hope you're right. Huh? Otherwise, we're worm food. Thanks, Arch. I'm all right now. Ah! Huh? Choo! Sorry, guys. May I suggest the next time you take a decongestant? If there is a next time. We should go while it's feeding. Are you sure this is the right number? No one's answering. Wait, it sounds like someone's coming on the line now. Huh? making those weird sounds. Jughead, is that you? Maybe it's Archie and he's in trouble. He better be, because if this is his idea of a joke, I am unamused. Come on, <gasps> we're going to Old Town. We're safe for the moment, but for how long? We may spend the rest of our lives in this tower. If we do, I wonder if Pop Tate would deliver out here. Hey. Maybe that's him now. No, it's the girls. The creature will be drawn to the noise. Huh? We've got to warn them. There they are. But what are they doing? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, they're waving and hooting at us as usual because we're so gorgeous. Sheesh, boys. <laughs> They're still coming. Our warnings aren't working. Worse, the worm's back. It's up to us to save them. We'll have to go down and distract the monster. I don't know. <gasps> My sneeze almost got us killed. Maybe I should just stay here. Huh? Come on, Jughead. We need you. We need that sneeze of yours. That's my boy. The worm 
tells me that this isn't just spring fever. Punch it, Veronica! Oh. Where to? We can't go home or we'll lead the creature into the middle of Riverdale. Head out of town. You got it. Oh. Faster, it's gaining on us. the creature. Well, that solves the mystery of the earthquake, but what was it? Hello, Daddy. I sort of totaled the car again. Can you pick us up? Archie, you've got to sign my petition. I can't right now. I found some legends about the giant worm creatures. In prehistoric times, these worms lived in spots of the richest soil, and Riverdale had the richest soil around. Once a year, the worm makes a pilgrimage back to the land of its ancestors. Once it hears the song of its ancestors, it returns to the deep earth for another year. But we've never seen this worm monster here before. Wait a minute, what about the spring earthquake at the turn of the century? Huh? What earthquake? I saw an old article at the museum. That's what I came to Old Town to tell you before we ran into the super snake. Guys, I've been reading my instruments and... Yup, the monster is back! How are we supposed to get rid of it? The ancestral song! Great! Except that there aren't any old giant worms around to sing the song. It was awful! I don't even like little worms, but a giant one? And that sound, oh! Oh, in my poor car! There, there, Reggie's here now and no giant worm can hurt you. <gasps> I don't believe it! You were telling the truth! Worm? Why is it my worm? Well, you're the weird mystery worm, so this falls under your jurisdiction. Come on, boys, now is not the time. How ironic. The first day of spring is Riverdale's last. 321. 321? Hey, wait a minute. That's a line from that stupid traditional bell ringing poem. Perhaps the poem isn't so stupid. March is the third month of the year, and the 21st day of March is the first day of spring. 321. How does the rest of the poem go? Tintinabulation at 3 and 21. We'll cease the sensation and the deed will be done. The sensation must be the trembling sensation caused by the worm. The ringing of the old town bell must be an attempt to simulate the worm's ancestral song. Of course. The tradition was started years ago to keep the returning worm at bay. No one's ever seen a worm before because an Andrews was always carrying on a family tradition. That must have originally started to keep the worm away. And I didn't want to do it this year. To the museum! Down. That's been there for a hundred years. Uh-oh. 
confinabulation at 3 and 21. We'll cease the sensation and the deed will be done. <sighs> it's working. Son, I'm proud that you carried on the tradition. Oh, and that you saved the day, and the town, and me. Thanks, Dad. Say, Archie, are you ever going to sign my petition? Sure thing, Betty. Forget the petition. Huh? Can we put this bell down? It's really heavy. I thought that I'd be a real doofus for carrying on our family Whoa. tradition. Whoa! I guess if I had just taken the time to learn the meaning behind the tradition, I would have realized how important it was to keep the history of our family alive. Who knows what evil lurks below the surface and what silly traditions might save us from that evil. All I know for sure is that next spring, I've got a date with a worm in a little town called Riverdale.